Don't say a word. No, 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 no. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. <sighs> this video is about the ultimate in back scratching technology. No, no, it's it's got nothing to do with back scratching. Do you know what this means? It means this thing doesn't work, and the itchy 500C is a complete waste of time. Ooh. the future fans, I'm in a DeLorean. I've made Griff's extendable bat, but I want to fly a hoverboard. So I'm off to Gravity Industries to learn how to pilot their jet suit. <laughs> It's Gravity's training rig. Now, this is purposely made to train people to use their suits. And if you want to have a go, there is a link in the description. You can have your own experience. We've got a zip line which runs across the top with the tether attached to it. This basically hooks onto your back, so if you get a little bit wrong, you don't disappear off into another postcode. It's on a raised platform, so you're not stood there with all your own turbulent hot air whooshing around your feet. And apparently, that's a lot easier for beginners. Now, this is not the first time I've had a go on this suit. Uh, about a year ago at one of their old training sites I had a go and it is a hell of an experience you know the power that you feel of having five jet engines strapped to your body you know feeling the control you really are glad that you are chained to something because if you do get a bit swiggly you can end up getting whipped around on a cord but you can't hurt yourself it is all good fun so then today I want to try and master stable flight to be able to hover and then we go back to the future Right, let's get in the suit. Okay, so I had to go this morning. Basically, what I wanted to try and do was just get up into a hover and not swing around on the rope like a yo-yo. And as time gone on, I got used to it. But my arms got a bit tired, so I've had a rest. We've had something to eat. Richard's given me a little few more tips. So I'm back in the suit now. Let's have another crack. Yeah, I said I want you. I'm feeling so good. You said I don't understand. I don't understand. I said I need you. I need you so bad. You said I got the secret streets. Don't take my hand. You are the only one. I want to make you mine. Now come on. Right, the rest has clearly done me some good. I think I just need to concentrate on steering now. Now, to actually turn this thing, you kind of just move your arms back and forth, and then it pushes you around, which is easier said than done. There's a lot going on. Right, come on, Leave it up, lucky the knob. I think, I think I'm starting to get this now. Right, just need a bit of a fuel topper. So, to control the beast, I've got a throttle in my right hand, and you just pin that full belt all the time. And then in the left hand, there's like a trim. So you can trim up, trim down, and that basically tells the ECU how much that full throttle is. Now, Two jet engines on each arm. These kick out 22 kilos of thrust maximum each. Big one on the back, that's about 55 kilos. So combined, if you convert it into horsepower, it's about 1,000 horsepower. And then the fuel tanks are either side of the big jet engine. There's also a kill switch if it goes all wrong.
That looked really smooth. Oh, okay, I think I'm actually getting this. <laughs> flying! I can do flying, me. Right, can I do it now with the board on my feet? Shouldn't be a problem, but you know what it's like when you add something into the equation, you have brain farts and then you're all over the place. Okay, so I think we need to strap it onto my feet a bit better. I can't move, so when it first takes off, obviously you kind of adjust your feet more than you think you do, and I can't do that with a hoverboard, I know, because I've snapped all the zip ties. I was a bit worried I was going to burn you. <laughs> I yeah, get out of the way. I, I got it like, done. Ah! That was fine. Oh, was... amazing. Really pleased. Really pleased. I think that's the closest that we're going to get to hoverboards. Thank you very much, Richard Browning. Much appreciated. He didn't have this problem in the film, did he? <laughs> now, I know what we're all thinking. Colin, you should never go flying without the tether. I'm just a man without a life. If I have no reason to deny, I've got no reason to deny oh, Tomorrow's just another lie It's been before It's been before Well, there we go. Right, you can fly. Hey, what an experience. Now, as nervous as I was, once you get up, it is so exciting. The freedom of being able to fly around all over the place. So, thank you for Gravity Industries for doing that. Now, if you want to see more of the suit, if you want to see me take my flying experience to the next level, because, you know, I can get off the ground and move around, but I'm not whooshing around yet. Richard's actually going to be running a race series. If you want to find out more about that and all the other stuff he does, check out his YouTube channel. But do you want to see Colin Fur's team? Do you want to see me take part in that? Do you want to see me modify the suit? Add something to the suit? Let me know in the comments. The world of our oyster. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the last video, I said I wasn't going to turn my DeLorean into a time machine because you have to ruin every panel on it. And I was actually fortunate enough to see a guy called Tom who turned his DeLorean into a time machine. And it is correct. You literally have to take all the rear windows out. Everything gets hole screwed in it. Every piece of interior trim pretty much gets destroyed. But it looks like a time machine at the end of it, which is pretty cool. So if you want to see the DeLorean in more videos in some way that is not drilling holes in it, let me know in the comments. But there we are. What a wonderful experience. Now then, next video, I've got to make the screw tank I've made. I've got to try and make that float and give it a weapon. Yep. This is the Colin First channel. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.